Well, summer's here. That means vacations, backyard barbecues, beach days, and unfortunately, bugs. It gets annoying. Insect repellent is a great way to battle against buzzing mosquitoes in your face, itchy bites, and ticks. But not all bug sprays are effective. Consumer Reports put 53 repellents to the test to find out which ones are best for you. How does sticking your arm in a cage filled with hundreds of hungry mosquitoes sound? Well, that's exactly what Consumer Reports has brave volunteers do. A standard dose of repellent is replied to test subjects' arms. After 30 minutes, they stick their arms into cages of 200 disease-free mosquitoes for five minutes, and testers count every time a mosquito lands on their arm or bites. Oh, there's blood. The process is then repeated until the repellent fails or until eight hours has passed. A repellent fails our test if a mosquito bites twice in one five-minute session or if there's one bite in each of two consecutive five-minute sessions. Now, while those mosquitoes in these tests are disease-free, the ones you'll encounter might not be. Mosquitoes and ticks can spread serious bug-borne diseases like Lyme disease and West Nile virus. And using an effective insect repellent is one really good way of reducing your risk of contracting those diseases. Keyword there is effective. Consumer Reports tests found that many of the most effective repellents in fighting against mosquitoes and ticks contain 25 to 30 percent DEET as its active ingredient. Two repellents Consumer Reports recommends 3M Ultrathon Insect Repellent 8 and Ben's Tick and Insect Repellent Wilderness Formula Pump. Both excelled in protection. If you're looking for an alternative to DEET, Consumer Reports tests found some repellents that contain 20% picar picaridin or 30% oil of lemon eucalyptus were effective as well. You could find Consumer Reports' five top-rated bug sprays on clickorlando.com insider.